What's up guys, Alam here, and welcome back for another Destiny video. The weekly reset just hit, and with it, new chances to earn amazing gear and rewards from the weekly Heroic and Nightfall strikes, along with more chances to take a swing at Atheon and Crota. But before we look into the new content this week, I want to take a look at last week and show you guys all the legendary and exotic loot I was able to grab from the Nightfall strikes and the Crota's end raid across my three characters. It was not the best week for me, and there are definitely some disappointments in store, but I still managed to obtain some pretty great gear. Let's kick it off with the Nightfall. On my first run, after defeating Valus Tyrarch with no burns, I picked up an MG-18A Harmsway Heavy Machine Gun, my third with its name. A great heavy, but just not something I'm looking for. On my second run, I get the Vanquisher 8, a high impact auto rifle, but nothing compared to my teammate, who managed to grab himself a Thunderlord, one of the seven few exotics I need to complete my collection. Come on! On my third run, the whole team manages to see gold, and I grab myself the Knucklehead Radar, exotic helm for the hunter one that I already own and I'm not impressed with. The helm gives you the third eye perk, making radar stay active. But there are so many better helms out there. I'll break it down for a shard. Moving on to the Crota's end raid on normal. In the abyss, though I died, my teammates finished up and I managed to grab myself two radiant shards. Next, after choosing the bridge encounter, I pick up two radiant energies. I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. Right afterwards, I find two more shards in the second chest. And after killing Ur Yute and her crew, I pick up two more energies. Come on! Lastly, as my team and I quickly down Crota, I'm given the Light of the Abyss and two radiant shards, while my teammate is given Hawk Moon, the exotic hand cannon that is definitely at the top of my must have list. So this drop may be insanely jealous. Come on, Bungie! Killing me here! For my second run through the raid on normal, in the abyss, I make it across myself and pick up Dog Gate Gauntlets and two more Radiant Shards. On the bridge, I grab two more Radiant Energies, followed by an additional two Energies from the second chest. After defeating Uryut, I grab two more Shards, materials for days. My team took down Crota very quickly, making my second run the fastest I've ever finished a raid in about 25 minutes. And finally, some luck begins to shine my way, and I'm given hard light and two more radiant energies. For my third and final run through a normal, I jump straight into the Crota fight, and after convincing my team to stray away from our usual strategy to avoid a second round of ogres, we gather up to take down Crota on the dreaded right side, and manage to finish him off shortly after. Good thing too, because if we didn't, I wouldn't have grabbed myself the Suros Regime. A gun I've been waiting for since I started playing Destiny and Miss Zer. It's finally mine! <laughs> yes! Thank you! Normally, this would be the end of my weekly Destiny activities, but since my hunter's now at level 32, I decided to try my hand at the hard mode of the raid. After about 3 hours of mistakes, we finally got our shit together and finished Proto just in time for me to grab the Fang of Uryut, Glohu Shader, and the Mind of Multitool. Not bad at all for a first time through hard mode. I also managed to pick up the Obersoul Edict, the Raid Pulse Rifle, by making it through the Abyss earlier. Hard mode was tough, but once I got familiar with the mechanics, and we all got on the same page with what we were doing, we perfected our strategy, and Crota didn't stand a chance. After switching gear to my second hunter, I recruited a few new players and jumped back in with a new team of randoms to take on Crota for one last time. It was easy to put together a team of able players using the Destiny LFG website. Thank God for that. It didn't take too long before we had him down on his knees again, and with a few well-placed rockets followed by three quick swings, I earned myself the unyielding cast, great helmet for the hunter. I already have this helm, but I noticed that the helm you get in hard mode has one slightly different perk than the one you get in normal mode. It's not the word of Crota like I hoped for, but I have high hopes of getting it in this new week. Also, since I got the Abyss Defiant from completing the bridge encounter, I'm 3 out of 4 for the raid primary weapon, which I think is excellent given that I only completed the hard raid twice. Well, that about sums it up for all my awards here in Destiny this past week guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, drop a like to be sure that I continue making these videos for you guys. The gameplay you're seeing now is taken directly from the Crota fight on hard mode, from the moment we step outside, right up to when we take down Crota. If you're curious about how to complete the Crota encounter on hard mode, or need help with a particular part of the fight, look out for my next video as I will show you every step in my team's strategy for taking down Crota efficiently and effectively. You won't want to miss it, so be sure you subscribe for that. Thanks for watching guys, got a whole lot more Destiny content coming your way, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Alam, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you next time.